President Mungeni is meeting with the country's small and mid-sized business leaders on this Tuesday evening, having invited them to the top office for dinner and discussions. Our chief Chongwade correspondent, Moon Gonyoung, is live from the top office. Gonyoung, so this time it's the leaders of the smaller firms in the nation. Absolutely, Daniel. Now, a dinner event here at the Blue House isn't so much of a rare event anymore. We've seen and this president host a beer night with the nation's biggest businesses and conglomerates. And also, we've seen him invite uh, labor unions, hardline labor unions, for dinner here at the Blue House. So it had left a big question mark in the minds of many when Mr. Moon failed to meet with the nation's leaders of small and medium sized businesses and startups and venture firms as uh, considering his policy. Is focused on in supporting and nurturing these smaller mom and pop stores and smaller businesses and venture firms. Now, that's because of the many setbacks in naming the minister for the newly created Ministry for SMEs and Startups. Now that the dust has been settled there, the uh, pro younger, smaller firm president has managed to arrange this gathering on this uh, Tuesday evening. Now, the event kicked off with a huge cheering uh, ceremony. For the Winter Olympics here in Pyeongchang, South Korea, next month, over cake, customized cake made by a local bakery in the nearby uh, neighboring Incheon city, and followed by dinner. Now, the menu selection is is key in in witnessing what the message, what the primary message is from the president to these businesses. It's a Korean traditional eel dish that's well known for re-energizing your body and your spirit, Daniel. Certainly look like they have a festive mood over there. Nonetheless, I'm sure these business leaders had their own concerns and complaints for the president regarding government policies and the business culture in Korea in general. Absolutely. Um, this, these talks actually come at a very interesting and, and critical time as these businesses, smaller firms, have been raising their voice over concerns that the recent administration's uh, re latest policy over the minimum wage raise um, will dampen and hamper their economic profitability as they're directly exposed to employees who are beneficiaries of this minimum wage increase. So, so to that, the president acknowledged their concerns, and this is what he had to say. Listen. The government has given the government the opportunity to give the government a So the president did outline a couple of other measures to support and and finance and support these uh, these small and medium-sized businesses, but uh, these none of them were new. They were actually ones that have been outlined by this administration before, and we'll have to wait and see whether it has satisfied the meeting today has satisfied the the leaders of smaller firms, venture of startup firms, and venture firms, and we will. We'll see the results later in the night as the dinner talks are still ongoing, and I'll make sure we have more updates for you in our later newscast. Daniel?